Warning, Blood Rain Terminal Cut has an age rating of Peggy 18. As such, this video contains spoilers, low resolution models and textures, violence, blood, gore, Nazis, giant bats, feral vampires, the occasional bit of strong language, and commentary recorded in my voice. Oh dear, looks like one of my targets was cornered. Okay, so I think, I think both of my targets are in this general direction. Although it has to be said, one of them is up and the other one is down, so... It might be a tech Seriously, all that thing has to do is run into me to cause me damage. <laughs> okay, I'm heading back upstairs because one of my targets is on this level. And in that direction apparently. Uh. Okay, maybe going down was the right place way to go anyway. Yes, thank you. I know I need to feed. That's why I'm trying to. Yeah, I definitely feel like I'm relying on the feeding on my enemies to kill them more than I should, but I'm not sure how how else to deal with creatures that can kill me so quickly and easily. So yeah, I think one of my targets is in there. And I could shoot him, I suppose. Yeah, okay, apparently I can't shoot through barred windows. And that door is locked. So... Oops. Hello, you. Not you. 
Thank you. Yeah, I really am just running around hoping that I get lucky and find the way in. Which, I mean, I'm sure I will find the way in eventually. Where did you come from? Where are you going? <clears throat> uh huh. Yep, well, bars in the window, so I couldn't get out there if I wanted, even if I wanted to. Peekaboo, bitch. Hold still so I can bite you, please. Yep. Now, I think I have to go back out the way I came in. I, mean, I can't see any other way. I don't suppose that any of these windows don't have bars on them, just for a quick way out. So, I'm going to have to go the long way. Fun. Yeah. You know, I would have thought vampires that have a reputation for being monsters, even amongst vampires, would be more difficult to deal with than just biting them on the neck. Or, you know, at the very least, be more difficult to bite on the neck. Now then. Ah. Oh dear. Are you stuck? Let me see if I can help you with that.
For a second there, I thought, for a second there, I thought it was still breathing. My target from the stables. I guess I can check you off the list. Get the hell out of here! Schnell! Mark Schnell! So, those vampires can talk. I need to climb back up down time. Uh, don't mind me, just doing a bit of parkour. I hope I can make that. Nope. Apparently not. Okay. Of course, I made it unnecessarily, unnecessarily difficult for myself, didn't I? Get out of here! Schnell! Schnell! Done there. I mean, a simple list door is locked would have sufficed. That door looks at that wall looks as though it can be broken. Or maybe it's just me being uh, stupid. Okay then, where are we going now? You see her? Well, she sees you. <sighs> also, you're apparently in a room with one of those monstrous vampires. Why were you bothering with me? Get it off! I get it off! Scott! No! 
You know, if you didn't shoot at me, I wouldn't pay any attention to you. Just saying. Honestly, I think you were better off up here with me, rather than down there with them. I don't think that door was open. I think feeding off them is probably the best option, all things considered. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, if there, was, if there was ever any doubt that they hit really hard, three of them clearly overwhelmed me. Hey, that was my meal you just shot. Okay, I think there's only two left over there now. I might be able to deal with them. Hello, oh dear. I mean, that was nice of them to uh, just drop down a hole. A bottomless pit that I don't have to worry about them coming back from. Okay, now where am I going? Okay, maybe I didn't need to deal with them at all. Okay. So, not that way, then. to be going. Through that big hole in the wall, probably. Ah, uh, just destroy some uh, ancient, very valuable pottery. Yeah, I haven't got much left in my machine gun, so I might as well swap it for a grenade launcher. And there's nothing else in this room, is there? Such an idiot. Why did I not try that before when it 
when it didn't tell me the door was locked. Okay, where to next? Through this door, no doubt. Oh, not through this door. Up here. Which is where I just came from. Ugh. This is the one that we want to go through. Just deal with those guys quickly. Now, where's your boss? I have a dinner date with him. Come on, up the stairs. That didn't do too much damage to me. You dropped something. Is he doing this? I think I can guess where that big ball of light is pointing us. It's going to be that bit of wall that I said from the beginning that I said looks as though it can be broken. Am I 
I supposed to go up or down here? I'm guessing up. Where to? That windmill, perhaps? Hedrox. Hello. Long way from home, Hedrox. What's the score? We, we want the heart. The liar's heart. Not the previous owner, Count Oiku. Hang the reller. Hedrox found Oiku here. And threw him to his death. You, you saw Hedrox eat the human's mind. And Hedrox learned Oiku wore the relic on his crown. Relics not unlike the one in you, Ray. Hedrox wants the secret. To tell Hedrox. How does Hedrox put the relic in the body? Sure. You have to cut your heart out and replace it with Belias. <laughs> Brain amuses Hedrox. Brain. Do you not think Hedrox has tried? Does Rain forget? Hedrox is... wants the secret. Hedrox will tear Rain's eye out. And eat her mind to find it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hedrox, I'm gonna do the same thing to you that you did to Voiku. Okay, I've paused it here just so that I can say that I vividly remember this boss fight from when I played this on the PS2 back in the day. So it's going to look like I work it out very quickly, but yeah, honestly, it took me so long when I played it the first time. Because Hedrox is basically invincible. He regenerates endlessly, and so there's no point in attacking him. Over here, Hedrox. Come and get me. You understand the word infinite brain? We are infinite. Keep cutting. God us. God us and more of us. Ooh, slow. Bastard. Come on. Hello, you. But yeah, you see what I mean about him being invincible because he just regenerates endlessly. I was kind of hoping at the end there that I could feed off him, but I'm not sure that that was working. Either that or he just killed me too quickly to, for it to work. Anyway. Over here, Hedrox. Come and get me. You understand the word infinite brain? Ooh, so scary. Maybe slowing down time will help with this.
might also help me feed off him, actually. Assuming I can. Yeah, I'm not sure that I can. It's just, uh, it's just throwing the harpoon Tell at him. Me, do I look bad in this? <laughs> Come on, where's that last strut? There you are. Come on. And that's why I was attacking the struts around the floor. I've said it before that I think slowing down time like this is really OP, but it's a good thing you can because I don't know that I'd be able to get through this alive otherwise. Last one? Yep, it is. You know why I love you? Because you're smart. Uh, but there's lots more where you came from, right? You want to call them? Or how about you cut some more of yourself right now? One, two, twenty, a thousand. You always equal zero to me, Hedrox. I will kill you over and over until there are none of you left. Hedrox doesn't need rain. Hedrox will change someone else's mind. Yeah, so like, like I say, I it took me so long to work this boss fight out on the PS2 back in the day that I distinctly remembered how to deal with it and the only way to beat him is to break those two floors so that all of them fall in the water. Thank you for watching. No pressure, but if you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe moon, like in the video, how about anything you want me to make videos on in the future, in the comments, and have a lovely day.